We talked about thanking you, so let's let's see how good this Chicago crowd is. <laughs> Come, here. Come here. Get over here. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. And if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Not bad. I think you guys can be a little bit louder. I know you're tired. I know you guys have saw the Jurassic Express. I know you saw Darby Allen. You're gonna see me on Sunday. You better be fucking louder than this. Yes, 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 yes. Boy's not old enough to know the theme song from Golden Girls. But we're gonna teach it to him if I have to come out here after every show and sing it with you. So, so Sunday night, you better be brushed up on your B. Arthur and your lyrics, because we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna do this again. One last thing, because it's late, you all wanna go home, I understand. No, 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 no. I wanted to speak sincerely. I think it was last week in Milwaukee, I very sarcastically ended the Send Them Home Happy with, if you guys enjoyed the show, great. Tell your friends, tweet about it. And then I said, if you didn't like it, right. And what I mean by that is we, don't mind the criticism. We want the criticism because yeah. to me, it's feedback. Yeah. Woo. I said I'm no longer the voice of the voiceless because this place doesn't need me. This place has a voice. I want all the criticism. I want feedback. I want to know if you guys are happy. 
is for the people who hate watch stuff and have nothing good to say or nothing good to add to the conversation. We don't need you, so shut the fuck up.